Sometimes it seems like people just go poof. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we're counting down part two of our list of the top 10 scary explorers from history who vanished without a trace. Coming in at number 10 is Baron Von Toll. In the year 1900, geologist and explorer Baron Edward Von Toll was commissioned by the St. Petersburg Academy of Sciences to lead a new Russian polar expedition to the Arctic to survey an archipelago called the New Siberian Islands. Specifically, he was to search for the mythical Sankov land to prove once and for all whether or not the island actually existed. This landmass had been first spotted a hundred years earlier, and ever since then, several explorers claimed to have seen it, including Von Toll himself during an earlier expedition. Now, this made him perfect for the mission, so in June of 1900, he sent off to the Arctic with a 19 man team aboard the Zarya. Unfortunately for Von Toll, Sankov land did not exist, and this proved to be his undoing. After two years in the Arctic, his team gathered plenty of scientific data, but no sign of the elusive island. With the expedition coming to a close, Von Toll tried one last bold gamble. After the winter of 1902 passed, he and three crewmen left the Zarya and went on a separate journey, using sleighs and canoes to maneuver easier through the archipelago. They were supposed to meet with the rest of the team on Bennett Island, but the thick ice prevented the ship from getting anywhere close. From that point on, the fate of Von Toll and his three crewmen became a mystery. Months later, a search party found their camp on Bennett Island, along with several notes written by the explorer, but no trace of the men could ever be found. Number 9. Eudoxus of Cyzicus Eudoxus of Cyzicus was a Greek navigator who explored the Arabian Sea. He failed to circumnavigate Africa from Europe in the 2nd century BCE. Now, he probably wasn't the first to attempt the journey, but he may have been the first one to get lost trying. He had already made two successful trips to India via the Red Sea for Egypt. It turns out during the second of these trips, Eudoxus was driven off course and landed somewhere on the east coast of Africa. There, he found remnants of a shipwreck. Eudoxus concluded that it came from a ship that had rounded the southern tip of Africa and crashed. So he organized a fleet of three ships to leave from present day Cadiz in Spain. He ran aground on its first attempt, but that wasn't enough to convince him to call off the journey. After embarking on that second journey, he was never seen again. It turns out Eudoxus was centuries ahead of his time, and it wasn't until 1488 CE that Bartolomeo Diaz became the first European explorer confirmed to have rounded Africa's southernmost point. Number 8. John Franklin In 1845, explorer John Franklin left Britain with more than 100 crew members in a search of the Northwest Passage. His two ships, the HMS Terror and the HMS Erebus, disappeared in the Canadian Arctic. Later investigations determined that the vessels had become stranded in sea ice. After Captain Franklin died suddenly in 1847, his surviving crew abandoned the ships and set off to get help on foot. For decades, it was thought that the ships and their crews had vanished without a trace. Then in 2005, 2014, Inuit and Parks Canada archaeologists discovered the wreck of Erbius in the Victoria Strait. The Terror's remains were found off King William Island two years later in Terror Bay. Now, the discovery of these ships finally brought some closure to one of the greatest mysteries in Arctic exploration's history. Bones of the crew members have also been found, one of which has been identified using their descendants' DNA. But the whereabouts and the remains of most of the expedition members, including John Franklin, are unknown. Number 7. The Vivaldi Brothers Indio and Uglindo Vivaldi were two brothers from the Republic of Giova who lived during the second half of the 13th century, and they were both thriving maritime merchants. Now, whether or not the siblings had a history of exploration and adventure, we don't know, but in 1291, they set off on a very ambitious journey to try to find a sailing route from Europe to India via Africa. It was the Cape route they were looking for, the sea lane that traversed the South Atlantic Ocean, rounded Africa at the Cape of Good Hope, and then crossed the Indian Ocean. Ocean. Now, it served as the most important shipping route in the world for centuries, but the Villati brothers attempted to sail it almost 200 years before it was actually discovered by European explorers. So, of course, things did not go to plan. The brothers left Genoa in May 1291 aboard two galleys, and they were known to have made it out of the Mediterranean and to have sailed off the coast of Morocco, but once they hit the open ocean, they were never heard from again. Their ships nor their bodies were ever found again. Number 6. 
Alfred Gibson. Alfred Gibson was an Australian explorer who is believed to have died in an 1874 expedition organized by Ernest Giles which sought to cross the deserts of Western Australia from east to west. Alfred departed from his companions on April 22, 1874 and was never seen again. The Gibson Desert into which he disappeared was named after him by his fellow explorer. He disappeared when he left Ernest with a compass and his horse going back to fetch some water for himself, the mare and Ernest, leaving Ernest walking. Now Gibson is thought to have had lost his way and was considered dead as he did not return. Number 5. Douglas Clavering Scottish naval officer Douglas Clavering made a name for himself as an Arctic explorer, leading an expedition that surveyed Greenland and the Selbard Archipelago in 1823. After making his successful return to England, Clavering was given a different commission as part of the West Africa Squadron, Britain's recent anti-slavery initiative. The squadron was formed in 1808 following the passing of the Slave Trade Act, and it consisted of a fleet of Royal Navy ships that patrolled the waters off the coast of West Africa in an effort to suppress slavery. Captain Clavering became part of this squadron in 1825 after being appointed commander of the Brig Slop HMS Redwig. Although the West Africa Squadron seized around 1,600 slave ships during its 50 year existence, little is known of Clavering's personal involvement. What we do know though is that two years after his appointment, the Red Wing set sail from Sierra Leone and was never seen again. Bits of the wreckage that washed ashore suggested that the vessel might have caught fire, perhaps from a lightning strike, but that's all we know. Number 4. Joshua Slocum In 1898, Canadian sailor and adventurer Joshua Slocum became the first man to single-handedly sail around the world. He had spent the last three years traveling 46,000 miles aboard his ship named Spray. Joshua then wrote an account of his experience titled Sailing Alone Around the World, which became an international bestseller. His success also provided him with some financial stability, which allowed him to buy some land and settle down. However, he soon realized that he was more at home on the open ocean, so he resumed his sailing, often traveling between the United States and the West Indies or South America. Now, Unfortunately, in November 1909, he left Massachusetts and headed for the Caribbean aboard his trusty spray. He was last seen resupplying in Miami before disappearing. Now, Joshua nor his ship were ever found. It's said that he perished at sea, especially since he apparently never learned how to swim, but others suggest that the adventurer faked his disappearance in order to start a new life away from his family. Number 3. Peng Jamu. By 1980, Peng Jamu had already established himself as one of China's premier biochemists, having taken part in multiple scientific expeditions over the previous 25 years to study the wildest, most remote regions of the country. That year, he left to explore the Lop Nur, a desert in the Tarium Basin. Five days into the mission, Peng vanished without a trace. It appeared that the scientist left camp alone in the middle of the night to search for water and got lost in the desert. Now, this was very puzzling, given that Peng was an experienced explorer who would have known better. Add to the fact that the extensive search by the Chinese government uncovered no signs of him and this promoted several conspiracy theories that suggested that Peng could have had his life ended by his colleagues, was kidnapped by the Russians or Americans, or even defected of his own will. But it seems like we might never know what happened to him. Number 2. Michael Rockefeller Michael Rockefeller, the son of New York Governor Nelson Rockefeller, was 23 when he began dabbling in art and travel photography. In November 1961, he traveled to the jungles of New Guinea to spend time with the native Azmat tribes when he went missing. Despite a two week search and a witness who supposedly saw him swimming in the ocean, his body was never found. His official cause of death was noted as drowning, but conspiracy theories range from being kidnapped to going native and even being eaten by sharks. Now another big theory is that he was eaten by people as the Azmat tribes were involved in that practice and sometimes ended people's lives as part of rituals. It's also been said that his boat overturned near the Azmat region of the island. The boy swam to shore to look for help and that's it. Nobody ever saw him again. But at least some members of local tribes have told stories indicating that Michael's life was ended upon reaching the shore and his body was cut up and the parts were handed out as gruesome trophies. Regardless of how or what happened, it will forever remain a mystery. And coming in at number 1 is Park Yang Siak. The mighty Himalayan peak now known as Annapurna Liz is one of the deadliest climbs in the world with a fatality to summit ratio of 38%. But that 
that didn't phase legendary South Korean climber Park Young Seok. He had set records across the globe, including becoming the first person to achieve the Adventures Grand Slam by climbing the 14 highest Himalayas, the highest mountain on each continent, and reaching the North and South Poles. While trying to establish a new route on the south face of Everest, two of his closest friends died in a fall. Park went on a drinking binge for six months and then reappeared, vowing to conquer the peak at any cost. Now, he succeeded in 2009, pioneering the new line on the mountain south face. Now, throughout his career, Park famously refused to quit smoking, predicting that he would be killed long before cancer could catch up to him. In 2011, his prediction came true as he and two companions vanished while trying a new route up Annapura 1. He was last heard from on October 18th when he radioed his intention to return to base camp following a gale and rock slide. A search party discovered a rope buried in the snow, but no trace of Park or his team members could be found. Well, that's all for part two of our list of the top 10 scary explorers from history who vanished without a trace. What do you think happened to these explorers? Let us know in the comments down below, and hey, why not like and subscribe while you're down there? I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.